Hey y'all, thanks for joining me for my July plan with me. The theme is daisies. And here are the supplies I'm using this month. Um, I've got my favorite pen, which I will link below, of course. And then a mechanical pencil for sketching, always sketch. Eraser, must have if you like to sketch. And then this month I'm gonna use a ruler, um, Crayola Super Tips, mostly yellow and green, right at the end some rainbow colors. And then I am gonna use one stamp, which I will link all my stamping supplies in the description below as well. My quote page this month is bloom where you are planted to go with the daisy theme. The lettering I am just using a style that I've been doing I feel like forever since I was like a kid just messing around during class. So it's just kind of a simple block letter and I'm gonna use this for bloom and planted and then I will add color here and then where and you are where this is just me my cursive kind of doing it nicely <laughs> and then um, you and R these are just capital letters I didn't trace any fonts or anything I'm just rolling with handwriting that I'm comfortable with this month and you can do that too you can do this same kind of design idea with your favorite kind of lettering depending on if you like a different kind of block that lettering that you're good at or whatever. So I'll finish up my letters here and then we will add some details and then some color. And just a reminder, like I always tell you, it's okay to sketch everything out, whether you're a beginner or experienced. Sketch it out and then use your eraser. So most of this daisy themed setup for July is going to be these shades of yellow from my Crayola Super Tips, a little hint of green, and then at the end I will use a few more colors. But um, if you're looking for cheap markers that have a lot of color options, the Super Tips, they're not my favorite, but they get the job done and they're great for beginners. And I actually know a lot of people who are super experienced that still love their Crayola Super Tips. So if you wanna get a pack, I'll put the link in the description below using my affiliate link. And I know it's not summer everywhere in July, but it is summer here. And even though I'm in the United States, I did opt to go with this kind of floral vibe instead of a patriotic, though I do like a patriotic vibe. But you can use this theme, this daisy theme with the yellows and greens any time of year, really, any spring or summer, it works well. And I like daisies because they're super easy doodles to do. Basically a circle and then just kind of some ovally, shapes for your petals and you can make them any size big small and then you can make them look different with the same basic doodle shapes so these daisy doodles you see me doing are perfect for people who are new to doodling and don't think that they can draw you can do it i promise so i'm just adding some hints of green here to kind of balance out all the yellow if you know me, you know I like a lot of color, so this is really keeping it pretty chill in terms of color, but I like it. It's fresh, clean, and it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. So I'm keeping this monthly calendar simple. I'm gonna use the stamp for the month, and then this is just me going for it um, with my own handwriting to make a little calendar. I haven't done a calendar like this lately for my monthly cover page. So I am just doing, you're gonna see, this is super, super simple. And you can do this kind of um, monthly cover with pretty much any theme. You just change out the doodles. So here's my daisy with a circle and then pedal, 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 pedal. Circle, pedal, 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 pedal. And they don't have to be perfect. That's what makes them cute, I think. And then I'm adding in these little dots so I can color them in for extra color. And plus, I love polka dots. Okay, for the stamp, um, this is the pad I always use. I've, my, I've got my acrylic block and the July stamp that you just peel off and you stick it onto this clear acrylic block if you haven't done this. I love the clear block. It's just like not, this is not old school stamping. This is easy, even if you're new. So you just stick it on and then you can peel it off to reuse it again some other time. And then go for the ink. My biggest challenge sometimes when I'm stamping is getting enough ink 
onto the stamp. So make sure you have enough ink on there. And then if you have any extra on the block, just wipe it off with a paper towel or even a baby wipe. And then you're ready to stamp. And look how cool this is gonna look. I didn't have to do the lettering. Saves time, saves stress, and I think it looks really good. And I'm keeping the color really simple on this page as well. Part of me wants to add a bunch more, but I'm trying to keep it simple. I think I like this clean look. So we'll see how it ends up. If I show you later, I added a bunch. Well, I'm sorry. So here I am using my favorite green ruler yet again. I use this ruler every month, I'm pretty sure. And so if you haven't bought it yet, you need it. This is one supply that I just can't get enough of. So you can check out, it's a um, set of three. They're all this same shape or the same size. And then this one is squares. There's one with circles and there's one with triangles. And I use the square one all the time to make different monthly calendars. And I've used the circle. I don't know if I've used my triangle one. I'll have to come up with something to use the triangle for. But I do have the link for this set in the description. So if you don't have these, y'all, you gotta get these. I use them all the time. I use this one all the time, I should say, the square ruler. But definitely, I highly recommend this ruler set. It's pretty affordable, if I remember correctly. I don't own a lot of expensive journaling supplies, so it must be affordable. Uh, but this month, I'm just using it to sketch out uh, a basic calendar shape. And I think I need to get a new pen. I use this pen so much that it might be time for a new one. So to add some color to this calendar, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my three shades of yellow I pulled from the Super Tip set and uh, kind of do them in a gradient so it adds a little interest instead of just having them all be one shade of yellow. And then I think I'm gonna add, I'm realizing now, <laughs> as I think ahead here, I didn't actually sketch this page out. <laughs> didn't decide what I wanted to do, which is not like me at all. So I'll probably stop and finish sketching here and then uh, I'll feel better about it as we go into it. But um, I'm going to, I think, use that July stamp again to kind of carry through from the uh, monthly cover page onto this page. So we'll just stamp July, maybe on like a little diagonal. Let me see what this looks like. If we go kind of that angle, diagonal, uh, just to give it a little bit of interest. And then we can do the daisy for the theme across the top. I think that will look good. So for the days of the week here, again, I told you I'm keeping it really chill and simple this month. And this is just me and my handwriting. Um, so you could do yours. If you want to get involved with fancy lettering, you can. I just really, I wanted to get it done this month. Because I'm trying to make sure I stay with my habits here. So I'm using my own handwriting for pretty much everything, or a stamp, I guess. So I did stop and sketch out some simple daisies, doing that circle, pedal, 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 just so I could have an idea on spacing and sizing. And so I'm just gonna do daisies across the top here, and then I'll erase my sketching and I'll add some color. And I think that looks pretty cute. We definitely need some green. So I'm gonna do just a little vine squiggle here and I'll add the leaves. And then we'll use the green to balance out all of the yellow in this spread. These vines I've been drawing for as long as I can remember too. It's seriously just a squiggle with tiny leaves. And then I'll just color them in real quick with this green from earlier. And I think that will help balance out this monthly calendar spread. With everything going on the past few months, I've really just been doing pages that I will use. So these are my last two pages for July, my habit tracker, which I'll pretend I'm using very diligently, <laughs> and my mood tracker. 
So for the habit tracker, I'm just doing um, my block letters again, but I am using capital and lowercase to give it a little bit of a different look. And then I decided to lay out just some basic boxes for each of my habits. And I've been tracking three habits. You could make as many boxes as you needed for whatever you're working on. I filled all my empty spaces here. I sketched out daisies to go with the theme. But these are just simple boxes, obviously, using my ruler. <laughs> Very easy to draw. And then I'm going to put a number this month for each day of the month. And I'll color over like a little circle when I, if I hit my habit that day. So drink water, <laughs> sleep. Oh my goodness, y'all. And then get moving, exercise. I am struggling lately, y'all. So I made a little mistake here and here and wanted to just show you that I do have a jelly roll, a white jelly roll on hand at all times. So you can use that to just fix minor little mistakes or you can leave them. It's really not a big deal, y'all. So now I'll just draw my daisies again. That's basic daisy doodle, the circle and then petals, petals, petals. And I don't even count the petals. I just do what fits and looks good on each one. Um, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's six. It just depends on the doodle. And I think they all end up looking fine, y'all. So you can do this, even if you feel like you don't know how to draw. I'm adding a little extra detail on these daisies just for a little different look. And then these dots to fill in some empty space, I'll add more color with them. And because like I mentioned before, I love polka dots. So I'm gonna do the letters here in green, I think, or maybe green and yellow. Um, I'm not sure, let's see, green and yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna do green and yellow here um, because I'm not gonna put much yellow on the page until I start filling in the mood tracker. Like I'll probably use my yellow colors, I think, maybe a different shade for each um, habit. Although I'll probably just grab whatever markers around, let's be real, and I'll just color in, like if I do it on the first, the second, and I'll see how many days I get this month. So if you've been with me for a while, you know that my mood tracker lately has been an anxiety and depression tracker where I've tracked them separately. Last month I started tracking them together and I'm gonna kind of do my overall mood in terms of anxiety and depression this month again as well and see how that works out. So I'm gonna do daisies with petals for each day of the month. With this daisy for a different look you can do kind of an oval and then make the petals like go out with none on the top and you'll see how you get a little bit different look. And then also, so I'm gonna do a mix of, I'm gonna do this regular one, and then I will need a few extra petals. Uh, sketching this page was important. So here's that oval again, and then the petals go out starting from the side. But yeah, sketching this one out and counting to make sure I had 31 petals was important. So for the extra days, I'm just gonna draw some extra petals kind of floating around. And then um, I will use the same scale that I've been talking about the past few months. But for this month, I don't always number my mood trackers, but for this month it felt like maybe I should because I was worried I don't have 31. But I've counted this multiple times when I was sketching, so I'm pretty sure I have 31. But I do like the numbers, so this is simple and easy to do. And then this page is where I'm gonna bring in more color. So in the key, let me draw some tiny little petals here. And then I'm gonna rate them, I'm gonna break it down even more. Like a one to two day, like that's a great day. Three to four, pretty good day. If I'm feeling a five to six, we're starting to creep up on some anxiety or depression. Seven to eight, yikes, and nine to 10 is not good, y'all. It's not gonna be a great day, that's too intense for me. Um, so I'm gonna do these letters green because then for my key, I was inspired by like those rainbow daisies you see at the grocery store. I know, I don't think they're real, right? They use dye or something. But I'm gonna use, I also love rainbow colors if you don't know me. 
So I'm gonna use purple, like the cooler colors for like calm, chill days, those lower ratings. And then we'll warm up to the warmer colors, yellow and then orange and then red. Well, it's kind of a coral. I like this Crayola Super Tip that I'm gonna use instead of red. It's kind of a corally pink. And then I will color in what each day is and we'll have cute rainbow daisies for my mood tracker. I hope you enjoyed this super simple daisy theme that you can really use anytime you wanna use. And thank you again for watching. If you have any questions or anything, just hit me up via email or in the comments. And please subscribe if you want to see more from the Petite Planner. Have a great July, everyone.